Yeah, I'm finally coming out in front of the mic. God, I must be high to be playing this game. Ow. Holy crap. Oh, an arrow. Anyway, I was dared to play this game by a certain bastard. You know who you are. And don't lie and say that you didn't dare me to play this. Because that's a load of crap. Ow. Holy crap! That thing kicked my ass. those guys took. Anyway, um, I've basically been playing this game blind. I have no idea what the hell is going on. All I know is I need to get to the end of the stage, but I have no clue where the hell that is. Unfortunately, I haven't figured out yet how to switch between characters. I did that first part um, without sound because I just didn't really feel like doing it. And that was quite some time ago and I really don't feel like playing through that first part again where I have to kick the living crap out of a crow. Because while funny, it is just not worth playing. did is reset those stupid corn unicycle things. I'm serious. I wouldn't be surprised if I found out that the people who made this game went on to later make Katamari. Oh crap. And fuck that noise. I'm gonna go right back to where my password would give me anyway. Okay, select changes characters. Ah, oh, I see. They each have a different life total, too. That's kind of cool. Like, the Scarecrow only has one life, while Dorothy has three. Bushes do so much damage. And those stupid jumping pumpkins have like just the worst jumping trajectory I've ever seen. Ow. character seems to have like a different setup on just jumping in. Oh my god. This game sucks. I think I want to go hide myself and not come back in front of the mic again. <laughs> it won't make the game go faster, but it'll make me think it's going faster. Excuse to cough. Anyway, I'm 
unfortunately I didn't play the first stage blind, that's the only thing I didn't do, and that's just because of a failed recording, but, eh, um, but I only learned really one thing from doing that, and that's don't enter buildings. They basically double the length of stages, and you don't want that. I don't even know right now if I'm screwed without, uh, the Scarecrow. I mean, I know, like, on that one stage later on in the game, the Tin Man comes helpful. Days, I need to show you all the full little demo thing because I just watched it and all I can say is the computer the game sucks more at playing itself than any other player would and it's just like angry video game nerd said the game doesn't even try to play itself well in fact it gets it it falls off a cliff on one of them it um almost gets killed on another one and the other and the fourth and its final one it actually does get killed okay I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to be doing here or how the hell I'm supposed to get up there I just know now Dorothy is dead basically dead Huh, that pitchfork attack does seem stronger. And the crows seem afraid of the scarecrow. Huh, so he can actually do his job after all. <coughs> but if it wasn't for that effing jumping bush. Hmm. Okay. I'm not going to question why it only healed Dorothy when she wasn't the character present. You know, because I'm not going to claim to understand this game's moon logic. And if you don't understand what I mean by moon logic, you will. Poor Dorothy, she got chased out of a field of corn by corn riding unicycles. Yeah, I don't get it either. Now the corn has grown so massive that it's, bas it's basically our platforms. As Dorothy just epically fails. Due to me epically failing to master this game's unique jump skill. kind of why I wasn't going in front of the mic for a while, because I'm not actually, I am actually very calm. You know what, I'm just going to call that a death reel. Oh well, next time hopefully I'll actually figure out what to do. Game logic. Whatever. See you next time.